and they threw it in the dumpster. They asked me if I could use it, and here it is. Like a confused pirate, <laughs> Lyle Nichols prefers trash to treasure. Sometimes I'd call it plunder. A shot-up sign, a rusty lawnmower, a disembodied doll head. Uh, Lyle will assure you it's all valuable. Well, somebody called me, told me they were closing down a bowling alley, so they give me about two or three hundred bowling balls. And even though he doesn't bowl. No, I don't. <laughs> he took every one. I, I should start. But he sees possibility in the bowling balls. It's just like these things here. He sees uh, art. They're real heavy duty and they swing. Where others see junk. Lyle Nichols has been an artist for 40 years. And he's made his living and home. Oh, I hope the sun shines today. In Palisade. It's an area known more for its natural creations. The wonderful Palisade peaches. But instead of feeding stomachs... The title of this sculpture is Alien Nesting Site. He feeds mines. And you wouldn't want to put your finger in between them. People ask me if I stay up all night dreaming of things, and I say, oh no, just half the night. Almost everything Lyle uses in his sculptures is stuff no one wants. A friend of mine found this grinder in a dumpster. But the end product? These came out of a missile silo. Far from trash. I did little things for Cher and Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's known nationally, but a lot of his work finds homes near his home. In town. This was a treasure. And in the yards of his neighbors. Most wonderful collection of farm junk. Bicycle chains, a spring here. His nose is a hinge. Uh, hammer heads. There's a shovel head. But you can see the guy wires. He's been able to pursue this as his adult career. And it's a wonderful gift to us. Lyle knows his artistic career is a gift to him and she as well. supported me and believed in me. Lyle and his wife were married for 30 years. She died 13 years ago. When she passed away, I, you know, I sold my first piece for like $60,000. You wish she was alive today to say, look, I did it, you know. After all this time. It ought to work in the wind. Lyle's still happily making the valley proud. It's like the little brass sign on my door there that says joy. It's a joy to come in that door and go to work every day. So he certainly made Palisade and the valley a, a more artistic place to to live. And I look at myself like a chicken on a nest. I found a good spot and then I don't plan on moving. He's just, he's a treasure. Finding treasure in a man who loves making a living transforming trash. His success is happiness and still working hard. Success is uh, making people smile. Ann Herbst, Nine News.